Very soon, Singapore Airlines will be launching their longest commercial flight ever, from Singapore Changi to Newark International. Now, this flight will be over 10,000 nautical miles, and it will take an astonishing 18 hours to complete. Now, last month, the airline took delivery of their first of seven A350 ULR aircraft, which will be used for this flight, as well as non-stop services to Los Angeles starting in November. Now, Qantas has asked Boeing and Airbus to design planes that can fly even further, from Sydney to London or to New York. So, ultra-long-haul flights are slowly making a comeback, even with oil prices close to their highest in four years. But for those people who have already booked their inaugural Singapore flight, here's what you can expect and how the airline has been preparing in the background. So, in order to accommodate for the longest commercial flight, the airline has thought about the passengers and they've made some changes to their cabin. First of all, forget economy class, it's totally gone. The plane will carry a maximum of 161 passengers compared with 253 on the airline's existing A350s. The cabin will have 67 business seats in a 1 to 1 configuration, with 94 premium economy in a mostly 242 configuration at the rear. Now, while premium economy seats offer an 80 inch recline, the pitch will be a standard 38 inches. Also, to increase the shin space, the seat back pocket has been raised, giving you more space in the leg area. For the armrest, the airline have decided to go with a covered armrest to give a more premium feel, and the seats will also include a personal reading light. Now, the airline will also be offering Wi Fi on board, but it will come at a cost. A business class ticket will get you 30 megabytes for free. Now, 20 megabytes will cost $6, with bigger packages offering up to 200 megabytes for $28. Now, although this isn't enough for the heavy users, it will be sufficient if you manage your activity and do some light browsing. Now, the next topic is food, arguably the most important part of the flight. Now, the airline has planned out its food offerings, and free meals will be served throughout the duration of the flight, each specially chosen to be lighter and easier on the passenger's stomachs to reduce potential discomfort. Now, in between the meals, snacks will be offered to the passengers via the galley. Instead of being distributed to passengers via the crew, placing the snacks in the galley will give passengers a reason to get up and stretch their legs, which is also a necessary part of long-haul flights to increase the blood flow. Now, their menu is not exactly clear as to what they will be serving, but we can expect food that will give you a lot of energy. Now, in terms of the crew and pilots, the flight will be flown by four pilots, which is not unusual. They'll be given extra rest time of 8 hours whilst in flight, compared to 5 hours on a typical long haul service. And when they land in New York, pilots will be given 3 days to rest before flying back to Singapore. Now, the 13 cabin crew will also be given 4 hours to rest during the flight, and 2 days to enjoy New York before the return leg. The work shift will be as followed. The command crew will perform the pre-flight, the taxi and takeoff, and then rest for about 5 hours. While the command crew takes the first rest, the backup crew will fly for the next 5 hours. Then the two set of crews will alternate two more times and rest in for 3 hours before it's time to prepare for landing. And finally, in terms of the actual plane itself, well, previously the airline operated this route using the A340-500. Now, in order to maximize the range, the A340 was configured in an all-business configuration, catering towards business passengers who wanted to fly straight to Singapore in the shortest amount of time as possible. So, it goes without saying that weight saving is a key element, but it's not the only element that will complete the trip. Airbus have reconfigured the fuel system on the standard A350 and they've pumped 17% more fuel into the tanks in the wings. The plane can now hold 43,500 gallons of fuel, which is more than 270 gallons per passenger on a full flight. So, captains, that's a breakdown of the longest commercial flight. If you booked your inaugural flight, then I'm assuming you're dreading it, but you're also excited at the same time. If you do fly it, then be sure to share your experiences with us. If you have any further thoughts or opinions regarding this, then share it with us in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you very soon.